Oh my god. Oh my god. What is going on? Hello. Welcome back to another episode of what I'm calling the road to P1. For the last year or so, I've been playing F1 2020, which I was doing at the time all on controller. I found it a lot easier. So I was able to kind of w win races quite easily when I was playing offline. Since getting my wheel set up and pedals, it's a lot harder, especially as well that I'm turning off assists as I go. So my goal is to get back to that point where I'm confidently winning races. As last video kind of demonstrated, it's harder than it looks, or at least for me, it's harder than it looks. Uh, what was the end result? Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even get past the line. So hopefully today is going to be a little bit better. I played Belgium last week because that's the next uh, upcoming race. But for now, I'm going to restart um, in Bahrain and work my way across. When we get to Belgium, if I get to Belgium and I still need to carry on, I will just skip that one and go ahead. So yeah, we're going to start with Bahrain. In the light of uh, the news about poor Danny Rick uh, having to uh, leave McLaren this this year, we're going to pick him. And he's going to be our driver for today. So off to qualifying. Now, qualifying on the last video went pretty well by all things considered. We ended up in P7, I think, which is pretty good. Maybe we might get something better in this car because it is, I think, a bit better on the performance side, but um, we're going to have to see. Obviously, that was a very <laughs> lacklustre start, but this one doesn't get counted, so it's fine. We're just warming up the, uh, the car a little bit. Now, because I played uh, F1 2020, I have done this track before. Uh, from memory, I quite like Bahrain, unless I'm confusing it with something else. It's quite nice and wide and open, so it's one of the tracks I think where overtaking can be a lot easier to pull off than others like Monaco or Miami. I still have traction control on and I still have uh, anti-block brakes on and I have tried uh, in the past to you know remove the traction control but the difference is incredible the way the car kicks out. Okay here we go we are starting our first qualifying lap Let's hope it's a good one. It's not the best first corner, but it could be worse. I might just shut up a little bit so I can uh, focus on this. Oh, that's wide. That'll certainly not do very well for our time. Normal that, oh my days. Okay, yeah, we've exceeded the, the limit, so I'm just gonna move across and let, uh, let Ocon get on with it terrible from me maybe it's not a Bahrain that I like I thought it was all right come on let's do this proper have to get round him thank you Alonso what is all I need Hopefully without jinxing it, I can see a green on the far right, which means we're on pace. So we can keep it that way for one last uh, corner. We might at least have some sort of decent uh, time. Are we on? Nice, P4, there we go. That's a lot better than 10. We're definitely not gonna stay there by the end of this session, I would imagine. The times will get a lot quicker as the uh, Qualifying goes on, but we've secured a decent spot for now. We're going to head back into the pits. Oh, we've already gone down to P5, so that's uh, there you go. That's a sign of things to come, probably. So now we'll let the track clear, refuel, uh, and then go again. Hopefully, get a good position for the race. I'm going to accelerate some time, see if it gets any less. That way we can try and get out in nice clear tracks. We've gone down to P9, you see, so we do actually need to put in a good time now to uh, get up the grid. All right, here we go. Quite wide on that first one, but 
We can make that back, I'm sure. We have enough fuel that we probably can try for another lap straight away. This is pretty good, I thought. P8, okay, we've got one place back. I'm going to try for one more, hopefully. It's a better corner that time. I mean, I'm seeing uh, red at the moment, which means we're not actually at a good pace, so this probably isn't going to be a, uh, a miraculous sudden victory lap here. But we're going to try. Yeah, I don't think we're uh, going to see any sort of miraculous... Yeah. Um, we're going to have to go around to the pits anyway, so... If I start seeing green, then I'll keep committed. If not, if it's still red by the time we get around to the pits, then I'll just um, accept my fate. Ooh. Ah, well, we invalidated the time anyway. We went too wide. Could be looking at maybe like P10 to start, which, you know, could be worse. I'm going to try and remember this time, though, when we start the race, to use my overtake button, because <laughs> we lost a lot of positions uh, by forgetting about that for the whole first lap. There you go. My engine literally cut out at the end. It was meant to be. It's time to P11. Once again okay. Of our top three. Leclerc, Not Verstappen. bad. Yada, yada, yada. Here we go. Right. So we've got a two stop or a th one stop. Uh, I think I'm going to go the two stop because I'm probably going to have to stop more than two times anyway. But we've got the formation lap. So warm up the tyres. Warm up the brakes. A nice harsh brake there. Slow it right down. Yeah! Gonna try and get on an inside. A little brush against an Alpine, but... Perez doing down in eighth. Well, we're at a much better start so far than Belgium. I'm not going to try and say too much in the chance of jinxing it, but we gained what two spots so far uh, instead of losing like four. So, and I'm actually making a push on Perez, but I'm not going to challenge it too much because I don't want to have a damaged front wing very early on. What is always so scary about these games is I know that at some point I'm going to just not not judge the gap between me and the car in front right and I'm going to end up damaging the wing and it's going to go back to classic old... Whoa! Well, that wasn't a damaged wing, but that was surely... Uh, oh, God, I hit the wrong button. That's the problem when my overtake button is right next to the screen capture button. This could be the lap we try and take Alonso, but does he have DRS behind Perez? He doesn't. So this is in our favour. Oh, he tried to get the inside. Not quite. This is where I have an internal battle with myself about being patient. Like, it's all about just... Choosing the very the right moment. Not every attempt at a corner has to be an overtake. It's knowing exactly when you can comfortably do it. Avoid risking damage. Um, because that's burned me too many times in the past. Oh, this is not a great corner for me, but we got past Alonso. Oh, he is going to challenge, though. That just goes to show the speed difference between the Alpine and the McLaren. I had the RS. Dare I say we'll see Alonso uh, overtake me at some point, but for now, we're going to bask in the glory of that overtake for as long as we can. Try and get us a little bit away from Alonso, because we're going to... Oh, shit. Well, that <laughs> was not desirable. We've come back on just ahead 
of the other car, but they're going to try for... I mean, uh, yeah, fuck you, Ocon. Trying to take my position away. You're nothing! I do tend to favour playing in the McLaren quite often. Um, I don't know why, I seem to just have a feel somewhat better for the car. I say that as I, you know, lost the position to Alonso by going off course, but I do feel just a little bit more at home, and I think it's, at the moment, showing, given, despite a few uh, blunders, we've actually, you know, managed to do pretty well. Probably on lap six. I'm pretty sure by lap six of last time, we were probably in <laughs> P18 or something like that, when I had already span out or, you know, what have you. We need to readjust. This is a risk. We're putting the overtake on. Can we close the gap enough? Mm. I'm trying. He's got so much acceleration off the line in comparison to my car. So every time we actually get close and we can use the DRS to uh, open the back wing and, you know, gain some momentum, he, he's already pulled away by so much that it's just hard to get it back. Ooh. Oh, bloody hell. Now, see, that sort of track limit, I just don't get because I don't think I would have gained any time from that. Verstappen is out! Oh, have we got a safety car or have we just... Oh, bye, mate. Bye, Max. Maybe I should call this series uh, Road to No Fucking Track Limits. Truth be told, three seconds penalty isn't the worst. A short enough time to actually, you can make, if you're driving well, you can make that time uh, between you and the car behind and not have to worry about losing the position. But it's still not ideal. And to be fair, the further up the grid we go, the harder it's going to be to put that... Um, that time between me and the car behind because they'll be uh, racing faster and stronger. Now one thing I wish the game did allow you to do is, like in real life, you can choose to pit and serve it there and then, so when you come back out, um, you're clear and you don't have to worry about it uh, affecting the post-race time. Unless there is a way you can do it, I've never had a, an option to pre-serve a time um, which I would love them to incorporate. I guess you could argue, in some ways, last race might have been a bit more exciting because I was probably actually overtaking more cars uh, just because we were that far down the grids. Whereas, you know, I've been behind Alonso from basically the very beginning of the race, except that little bit of time where we had got past him. Oh, and I've gone off wide again. Oh, my days. Fuck! It's begun. I got in my head. Uh, damn it! I was really, <laughs> I was really looking forward to this being like a semi-impressive display for me today, but we fucked it as usual. Oh my god! Any sort of finish is still better than last time, so that's the goal. Somewhere later in this race, this corner is going to screw me one proper time again. For those watching, I feel like I let you down there, you know. Some of those positions will come back to us in time. Oh, God, it's going to fucking neutral again. I'm going to stop doing it. Through the, the grid faster. Oh, there you go. That's a nice little, nice little overtake there. Who are we looking at now? Lance Stroll. I feel like the way to sum up my uh, opinions on Lance Stroll, at least video game Lance Stroll, is you know in Fairly Your Parents when the dad is like Dinkleberg. That's uh, how I look at Lance Stroll. He's my Dinkleberg. Oh, hoo -hoo! that was for Bottas and my Alfa Romeo last week. Okay, Lance Stroll, that's. Well, that was. Oh, Vettel. Vettel. What are you doing to me, bruh? 
Yeah, how about them apples? So when I first set up the wheel for playing this game, because you have to kind of configure it and change a few buttons, um, get the paddles working correctly, my downshift paddle, so my left hand, is recognised as L1. The overtake button, that is also, or it was originally in the game, mapped to L1. So without noticing or without realising, um, every time I downshifted through the gears, I was flicking the ERS system off, on, off, on, off, on, and I could not figure out why my ERS system was behaving the way it was. I can't imagine what the uh, in-game AI was thinking when I was switching in between uh, the ERS constantly when I was downshifting like this. I was basically constantly draining the battery most of the time because I, I just didn't know how to um, turn it off effectively. I since discovered what the problem was and have uh, accordingly fixed it. So now it's set to uh, a button on the middle of the controller set to L3. So can use it properly now. I think we can potentially take Sonoda uh, in the next couple laps. Oh no! It happened! Surprisingly, they've not jumped on and said, we've got a new strategy available. A new strategy no, available there it is. The is that hard? Yeah, so they're putting hard tyres on. So this should be probably the last of my stops now. This seems all too familiar, you know? P8, how I miss you. How I miss looking down the back of Fernando Alonso's Alpine. Alright, we're back behind Sonoda, so who we had our NAS a little bump with for a budget at least for P PlayStation this is specifically a PlayStation Ooh. Ooh. that was so close to being a track limit I almost pooed I don't even have there is actually a, a feature called flashback in this where say when I had that damage with Sonoda um, I think you can have up to like three flashbacks where you can rewind time Put yourself back in a more desirable position and go from there and um you know i could have avoided that damage but i as uh, sometimes crushing as it can it can be i like the risk knowing that at any moment if i'm not concentrating or playing white um i can screw it up and i think it helps keep me engaged um as i said immersed rather than, you know, in the back of my mind thinking, oh well, I can I can screw up like three times. I think by this point okay, uh, in, in the last five, race, we had pitted about four times. Um, and I think it's almost around lap 34 or 35 that we ended up completely crashing out. So yes, we uh, definitely had a better, a better go at it this time around. It's all about learning, you know? We're almost behind Pierre Gasly. <laughs> I was not focusing there and severely over revved the engine. <laughs> I actually do want to thank uh, anyone who uh, did check out the last video. It, I, I do appreciate anyone who actually does come by to just watch a little bit, even if it's not the full thing. Um, I know 20 minutes is uh, quite a bit of time to put aside. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate it. I just put these videos up for kind of appeasing my own enjoyment um, but if other people can find entertainment out of it then you know that's just a bonus really um, so yes thank you very much I know Hannah just wants me to get good at this so that uh, I get picked up by um, like an iRacing division for one of the teams and then we can get carted around the world uh, and she can probably get to a point where she's in breathing distance of Charles Leclerc. Well, uh, oh, fuck me. Whoa. Fuck, I was not paying attention in the slightest there. Thank God we went through the middle of them and not straight into the side of Joe Guan Yu. Um, I think that would have ended our race right there and I would have maybe cried on the spot. See, right now, if I wasn't recording this, I'd be in my element. I'd be like, yeah, I love chasing down cars. It's so much fun to be like, you know, behind a couple of other drivers and, and uh, see yourself getting closer and closer. But because I'm recording it, 
Um, I'm absolutely shitting it. This is where Gasly was able to keep us at bay last time. I'm going to try for the inside. He had a little bit of a lock up there. We both got DRS. I'm. I'm. Oh, I'm Ooh. Oh, we've gone way too wide, I think, to uh, to keep it. Oh, have we? Woo! Oh, God. Oh, light damage. Oh, God. But we have DRS and he doesn't. But well, we do need to... Oh, no! Guan Yu! Oh, Gasly's going to go on the inside. Keep on him. You might make a mistake. We're going to come back on the inside. Oh, God. Gasly's faster with the DRS. But look at this. Oh, God, that was not good. Oh! What just happened? Okay, slow down, slow down. Gasly's out! Oh, Gasly hit me so hard, I think he's knocked himself out of the race. Oh, but you know what this means? Safety car deployed. Magnuson's going to be right behind me, as will every other car, so... I'm actually going to probably now drop down a ton of places by the end of this because they're all going to be so close, I'm not going to be able to put six seconds in. So signs must have had some sort of power failure. Realistically, a legal time game? What about? Depending on the severity of signs, you may have actually seen a safety card regardless start kissing my uh, half-decent result. At P I'm in P10 now because of signs I didn't even realise. Get ready with that immediate overtake burn. Here we go. And I can already see the white arrow of the Haas coming in. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's only gone and actually made it past Guan Yu. Holy fuck, it's chaos. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is going on? Holy shit. I don't even know what position I'm in now. Um, I'm too scared to look away from the road and risk something terrible from happening. Yeah, Bottas is going to get me. Oh no, it's not Bottas, it's Magnussen. I'm going to try and go for a cheeky inside. And we get it. And he's going for it again, Magnuson. Oh, we, that was a not great. That was not great here. We could eclipse Bottas again. I'm gonna. Oh, you bastard! Oh my. No. Oh no. Not again. I was going. I thought maybe I could take him on the inside. And he put me. Oh, I was not. Fucking hell. That is sadly the end of the race for us. And I think we only had like three laps four laps to go well we will try again sometime soon thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed what you saw please consider liking the video subscribing all that jazz uh, it always makes me very happy when i uh you know see a new subscriber uh, count or another like on the video you know it does mean a lot um, so yeah thank you and until next time take care
Bye. Fuck. <laughs>